Namaste to all. This is the part two of Vedic fundamentals. For if you have not seen the part one, please go to my playlist to Vedic lessons and see the part one as well. It's not a continuation. You can see this video also alone. You will understand. In the previous video, we saw various names of Almighty God such as Om, Kam, Brahm, Prajapati, Manu, Mitram, Varunam, Garutman, etc., etc. In this video, we will continue more. The more and more we understand the qualities of God, the more we will. develop love towards almighty god so we will also get serious towards the path of almighty god that's why i am trying to read the knowledge given in the book the light of truth from the chapter names of god it is easy to listen rather than reading that's why i am making this video so the ayurveda mantra speaks about om bhurasi bhumi rasya riti rasi vishvadaya vishvasya bhuvanasya dartri prithivim yach prithivim dringah prithivim mahinsihi here the mantra speaks about bhumi bhumi is the name of almighty god bhumi also means this earth but bhumi also means the almighty god and that mantra which means that almighty god is the abode of all the panchabhutas abode of all the living beings in this universe that's why almighty god is called as bhumi in this mantra and similarly samveda mantra speaks about om indro mahanaro dasi papratachava indra suryam marochayat इंद्रे विश्वाभो नानिये मेरे इंद्रे हियर इंद्रा मीन्स द नेम ऑफ गॉड द ऑल मैटी सर्वशक्ति मान ऑल मैटी गॉड ऑल ग्लोरियस ऑल मैटी गॉड बट मेनी पीपल इन द पुराणिक स्टोरीज वी अंडरस्टैंड इंद्रा मीन्स देवता इन द स्कई हू इज शवरिंग एस द रेन वाटर नो देर इज नो देवता मेन्शन इन द वेद लाइक दट इंद्रा इज द नेम ऑफ गॉड इन द सामवेद मंत्र based on the mantra subject we have to derive the meaning of the word indra or agni or bhumi etc that is possible only when we have the guidance of the learned acharya of vedas or a samadhist yogi om atharveda speaks about prana prana is also name of god, almighty god pranaya namo yasya sarvam idam vasheyo bhutah sarvasayeshvaro yasmin tas sarvam pratishtitam god name is pran because just as pran are the vital forces control the whole body and the senses almighty god controls this entire universe that's why his name is pran in this mantra but for example we have the mantra in purusha sukta om tato virada jayata virajo adi purusha sajato atya richata paschad bhumim mato purah here virat name is not mentioning god here virat name is mentioning something else how do we understand that For example, Taittiriya Upanishad speaks about tasma dhava ye tasma dhatmanam akasha sambuta akasha dvayu hu vayu ragni hi agni rapa dabbya prithivi prithivya oshadaya oshadi bhayo annam annad reta reta purusha reta sah purusha sava yesha purusho annarasmaya here the word like akash vayu agni apah oshadi annam ret these are all the name not denoting to uh, almighty god because uh, marishi beautifully writes these are the names of the worldly objects because wherever the subject is pertaining to creation or dissolution or sustenance or limited knowledge or inertness then it does not signify to god here tato virada jayata is almighty god is creating this world and this world is like virat purush so here virat ajayata is denoting the entire cosmos entire universe and the taittiriya upanishad speaks about agni vayu the creation of the human body how it is getting created that is mentioned in this so human body is jad padartha so all the pancha bhuta are used in creation of the human body that is mentioned in the taittiriya upanishad so we have to understand the subject matter properly and of course we cannot do it because we are not vedic pandits and the self made pandits also cannot understand purusha sukta properly only guidance from an acharya of vedas will help us so for example if we go to the meaning of om in the om om is made up of so many names of god so many names of god is there in om i made a separate video for the meaning of om for example om is from a u ma a means virat agni vishwa adi etc then u means 
हिरण्य गर्भवायु तेज ऊ धन मकारम मकारम ईश्वर आदित्य प्रज्ञेन सो सो मेनी नेम्स आर इन साइड दी नेम ऑफ द गॉड ओम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से विराट विराट ऑल्सो मीन्स गॉड्स मीनिंग गॉड्स नेम Agni also means God name. Virat means Virat signifies God because He illuminates this multi-form universe. Just as my Acharya writes in one of the book, just as a potter makes a pot from a clay, God makes this universe from the prakriti. That's why Almighty God is called as Virat. Then Agni means Anchu Gati Pujan Yo Ho, one who is worshipable, one who is adorable. one who is all knowledgeable omniscient worthy of adoration fit to subject to be known one who is realized that's why almighty god is name is agni vishwa vishpraveshane the word vishwa is derived from the root visha to reside vishwa vish vishanti pravishtani sarvanya akashadini bhutani asmin yova कषदिषु सर्वेशु भूतेशु प्रविश प्रविष्ट स विश्वाईश्वर सॉरी आई एम अनेबल टू रीड प्रॉपरली बिकॉज इट इज इंग्लिश इट्स नॉट इन संस्कृत हियर बट गॉड इज कॉल्ड विश्वा बिकॉज इन हिम रिसाइड ऑल द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑल द वर्ल्डली ऑब्जेक्ट्स इंक्लूडिंग द ईतर एंड ही ऑल्सो रिसाइड्स इन एवरीथिंग दैट इज वाई इज कॉल्ड एस विश्वा then hiranya garbha hiranya garbha is from aitriya brahmana shatpatha brahmana the word hiranya is synonymous with the words jyoti and teja that is light hiranya garbha means god as he is the source and the support of all the light and the luminous bodies such as sun etc this is also substantiated by the following mantra in ayurveda wherein the word hiranya garbha has come in the sense of god हिण्यगर्भ समर्तता घ्रे भूत से जात पतिरेक आसी सदाधार पृथ्वींद्या मुते मं कस्म देवाय विशा विदे हियर हिण्यगर्भ मीन्स गॉड हिण्य मीन्स लाइट गर्भ मीन्स सपोर्ट गॉड इज गिविंग द लाइट टू एव्रीथिंग दट्स वाई गॉड नेम इज हिण्यगर्भ देन वायु वागति गंधन्य यो God is called Vayu because He supports, sustains, and dissolves the animate and the inanimate world, and is the mightiest of the mighty. That's why God's name is called as Vayu. God's name is called as Teja. The word Teja comes from the root word Tija, Tija Nishane, that is to shine. God is called Taijasa because He is self-luminous and gives light to the sun and the other luminous bodies. Then another name of God is Ishvara. इष्टे सर्वेश्वरयवान वर्तते स ईश्वर गॉड इज कॉल्ड ईश्वर बिकॉज ही प्रोसेस ट्रू एंड थॉट प्रोवेकिंग नॉलेज एंड इनफाइनाइट पवर मेनी पीपल थिंक ईश्वर मीन्स लॉर्ड शिवा नो ईश्वर मीन्स ऑलमाइटी गॉड द वर्ड आदित्य इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द आदित्य ऑल्सो इज नेम ऑफ गॉड आदित्य ऑल्सो मीन्स द सन इन द स्काई बट आदित्य मीन्स दो अवकंड ने वन हू के नॉट बी ब्रोकन इन टू पीसेस द वर्ड आदित्य इज डिरेक्ट फ्रॉम द रूट वर्ड दो टू स्प्लिट गॉड इज कॉल्ड आदित्य बिकॉज ही नेवर परिशस द वर्ड आदित्य आदित्य मीन्स ही के नॉट बी ब्रोकन ही नेवर परिशस एंड देन प्रज्ञा इज ऑल्सो द नेम ऑफ गॉड प्रज्ञा मीन्स वन हू इज नोअर ऑफ अवर माइंड Jain avabodhane. He knows avabodhan. He knows it before even we we are able to speak out. He knows what is inside our mind. That's why its name is called as pradnya. So this is the exposition of Om. Virat Agni Vishwa Hiranya Garbha Vayu Tej Ishwar Aditya Pradnya Prajain. So these are this is the exposition of Om. See how many names we saw today. Bhumi is the name of God. Indra is the name of God. Prana is the name of God. then virat agni vishwa hiranyagarbha vayu te jeeshwar aditya prajna these are the names of god and also we saw that in some mantras agni also comes but that is not denoting the name of god it is denoting a lifeless object which is the burning fire burning fire is not worshipable burning fire is jada padarth we cannot worship the burning fire we cannot worship the sun moon etc so here completes the second 
part of Vedic fundamentals. I'll try to make more videos. Thank you so much. Namaste. Om.